What's up, everybody? This is Jamie Joss from Hate Breed and Kingdom of Sorrow, and you're watching Nerve TV. If I would have to give a specific reason why I created the band or why I started the band with Chris, probably just because our old bands kind of broke up and or went separate ways and we just needed a new outlet to you know create music and have fun and play shows it was just something to do you know for fun and it was just something that we did on the weekends and it just started to grow and became this you know monster but yeah we still do it for the same reason it's just fun you know <laughs> How did we start, you know, combining the thrash and the and the hardcore and the metal elements together? I guess just because when we started out, the scenes were very separated. We would do shows with like Machine Head, completely different people than when we would do shows with Sick of It All. So I just thought, you know, we should unify this, bring it together, and that way there'll be more people at both shows, and everybody can, you know have a better show. So we, we, we were always a crossover band in that sense. We would go play like with Six Feet Under one night and then we would go play with Strife and Snapcase the next night. So I think the old scene was very, you know, separated because people were just, you know, so concerned with, oh, this guy's got long hair, this guy's got short hair, these guys don't get along. I was just like, let's have everybody get along, you know? This is the sound of the lost, beating and broken. You always want to express something. You always want to do something. I, for Hatebreed, a little bit more than you know, just entertainment. We always had lyrics that tried to you know, at least involve the listener a little bit. Especially from me coming from the inner city and coming from a low-income family. Uh, with a history of depression and suicide and alcoholism and drug abuse, I always had different things to worry about, and I just I've been able to you know get out of a lot of bad situations in my life through the music or the music that inspired me. Even if it's just you know working out, getting up and you know taking a run and listening to a band I love, it always takes me away, and that's what I would hope to do with Hatebreed. I take this vow, never. We try to make it so that if someone leaves a show or leaves the CD on and they finish it, they feel something more than just entertainment. Sometimes you can't even really, you know, put a word on it. Like I was listening to um, Suicidal Tendencies, You Can't Bring Me Down, and I print those lyrics when I was a kid, and I still have them, and I. It's like my daily mantra and the song, even though it's a very old song, it always makes me feel better. You know, and I want to try to do that with Hate Breed. You guys are the fucking best. Man. When I say hate, you say breathe. Hey! 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 All the big cities, like, they keep getting better and better for us. New York, Detroit, LA, Paris. The Hellfest was amazing, you know, being able to, you know, co-headline with Man of War and Suicide and all these big bands. And then also uh, uh, with Full Force in Germany, we headlined and we had Pyro. I've got to chase tonight. Cause this is now. No, 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 no. Download in the UK is always great. Are you ready to sing it down loud? It's funny, like we. A long time ago at a show, I said, hey, you know, you got pits and tits, you know, what more do you want? And that just stuck. So now every time we play 
the UK or we play certain areas, it's boobs everywhere. So when my daughter comes to the show, it's like, don't look. <laughs> I live for this. Fuck yeah! I think it's good that the clean vocal style got very popular and very big. You know, like we, I remember when Killswitch Engage and Lamb of God and those bands would open for us, you know, and now they've gone on to be huge, you know, international stars. And I think it's, it, that's a great thing because it helps everybody. I think with Guitar Hero and all this stuff, it's making people find out about the underground because people hear All That Remains or they hear Dragon Force or they hear you know, those bands and then they look and they find out other bands that they play with or they see the bands that are on tour with them and I think it helps. A lot of people think it's just some guy yelling, it's just noise and it's not, you know, some guy putting his heart into something. So